I honestly forgot how I started my movie vlog for Ghostbusters Afterlife three years ago, so I'm just gonna start off with me just singing the Ghostbusters theme song. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Oh, by the way, uh, in case you asked about my thumb, I'd show an image just to fully explain it, but maybe a bit too graphic for YouTube, so I'll just say it like this. I accidentally cut myself in material science class yesterday, and uh, it hurt like a mother effer. I, I could say the F bomb and bleep it out, but I'm just gonna say it that way. But still, though, uh, yeah, I did accidentally cut myself when I was trying to take off a wooden bridge off a board, but I used too much super glue. So, yeah, now I am fine. It still kind of hurts right now. It's a two to three on a scale of one to ten for pain. But just, um, yeah, so my thumb is a bit injured, but. As you can see, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of movie posters. I'm at the theater, about to watch Frozen Empire, as I literally just finished watching all three Ghostbusters movies. I watched the first one yesterday, and, uh, watched the second one, I think, earlier this morning, and then finished it around when I was at school, and then watched the third one as soon as I got home from school. And I'm, and I would had, uh, filmed my double movie review for Ghostbusters 1 and 2, but... I figured that if I'd be making my movie vlog first, then I'm pretty much going to be doing a quadruple movie review. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be reviewing Ghostbusters 1 to 4. And technically, I've already reviewed the third one like three years ago, so consider that part a re-review. I was, I was going to do these separately or something, but I didn't have enough time, but this is what happens when you improvise. And I think it'll probably be a bit easier, honestly. But yeah, since I'm pretty much going to be doing a Ghostbusters 1 to 4 review, yeah, that expect my full official review for Frozen Empire for that video as I'm pretty much going to be talking spoilers in there as I think I talked spoilers in my spoiler that it was spoiler review for Frozen not Frozen Empire Afterlife I don't know I'm talking way too fast but still basically what I'm trying to say is that my movie review for Frozen Empire will be in the uh, Ghostbusters 1 to 4 review so stay tuned for that whenever that be which will probably be tomorrow as um I'm a, I now have two videos I gotta add. My trailer reaction for Beetlejuice Beetlejuice that we just did uh, before my mom dropped me off at the theater. Uh, we just reacted to that while she was driving, but still. Um, yeah. Uh, so far, the movie's interesting. I've never seen the first one. Don't know jack squat about it, but we shall see. I am gonna plan on doing a movie reaction once I watch it this September in preparation. But anyways, let's get back to topic. So, uh... This whole entire movie vlog did not go the way I had planned, unfortunately, because I wanted to come here dressed up as a Ghostbuster. I I hope I get to have a second chance to do that if they make a fifth Ghostbusters movie, which I hope they do, because I gotta get this right off the bat. Is it just me, or has this movie not been getting a lot of hype recently? Like, it, like I'm aware this movie was coming out. Of course, I couldn't forget, because it's, I think I had this on my most anticipated list for this year. But just like, I don't know, I feel like not everyone's talking about it much. As if, like, nobody cares about Ghostbusters anymore. And I'm like, kind of concerned about that. I'm also concerned if it's not going to do well at the box office. I mean, I think it did. I think the last one did well three years ago. But, um, this is where it's out on tomatoes. And so far, all I've got is just that, uh, too many characters, developments going on. Like, it's basically a bit too much. And that would probably make sense if there's, like, a ton of characters if you've seen the Fisher Pulser. But, I'm not, like, too... I'm not, like, caring what critics are saying. I'm expecting to give this either a 9 or it could be an 8 out of 10. I'll be shocked if I end up giving this a 10 out of 10, but I don't know. I Apparently, I shouldn't be concerned at all because I know who's directing this movie, and I just found out about this recently as this shocked the hell out of me. So, the director for this movie, since uh, Ivan Reitman's son didn't return for the fourth one, which was a bit odd, but... He's still part of the movie, but they did get a new director for this movie, and that director would happen to be the same director that directed freaking Monster House. And that movie happens to be one of my all-time favorite movies, and it's definitely from my childhood, but no, like, I love that movie to death. It, it's just, I, like, I've loved it since then. I love it to this day. I know many people are not going to be on board when I say this, but I want to see a live-action movie on Monster House. So, Sony, if you're seeing this, uh, as much as I sort of hate your guts for the Spider-Man drama going on, I'm interested in seeing you bring Monster House into live-action. I, I I, know not many people are into live-action movies, but I, I kind of want to see it live-action. 
I don't know. We shall see. Uh, I mean, that's that's clearly impossible. We, sh we shall see. We don't know what tomorrow brings or what the future holds. But no, just knowing that the director of Monster House is the director for this movie, I got nothing to worry about because I enjoyed the sh out of Monster House. So now I may be expect I. I should probably tame down expectations because I'm probably going to be imagining it. Like, I basically would want it exactly like Monster House. I'm like, okay, whoa, 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 calm down, Matt. It, don't exactly picture it like Monster House, but like maybe same tone vibes. Like, I don't know, but basically, I, sh I should have nothing to worry about. And that I should definitely have a good time watching Frozen Empire, knowing the director is the same director that directed Monster House. But, um, off topic real quick. Guess what is coming out next week from today? And as much as I enjoyed Dune Part 2 as, yeah, I'll admit, that's possibly one of the greatest movies I've seen in my life. And that's crazy for me to say, as just, it's, it's just not my type of movies, but, but no, that, that, that movie blew me away. But the one movie I was excited the most to see out of Dune Part 2 or Kung Fu Panda 4 or Ghostbusters Frozen Empire was Godzilla, Kong, the New Empire. Or Godzilla and Kong, the New Empire. Or what I've just been saying the most, Godzilla X, Kong, the New Empire. The X is silent, as the director just calls it, Godzilla, Kong, the New Empire. But the X stands for a collaboration, which would be Godzilla and Kong, but... Still, we can go wherever we want. It, I mean, it is Godzilla vs. Kong, too, even though they're not going to be fighting, and they're going to be teaming up. And also, he, the director did mention that he's interested in doing a third movie, so we're gonna get that freaking trilogy right before Godzilla or Kong even has a trilogy. Or, or I, I don't know. I mean, we could count of Godzilla vs. Kong as a sequel to Skull Island. I, I don't know. I mean, we only have two movies of Godzilla and one movie of Kong, so I, we're pretty much gonna be getting three movies of Godzilla and Kong, and I ain't complaining, but... Okay, bad to topic, so... Yeah, I was hoping to wear a Ghostbusters costume for this. Sadly, we did not have enough time to order that, as we already had ordered one costume, so yeah, we basically had to get the other one, which would be Godzilla and Kong. Yeah, me and my mom are gonna dress up as Godzilla and Kong, unless Gabe dress up as, as Kong. I, I should probably text him to see if he's gonna be able to come to watch the movie with us or not. If not, then, oh well, I tried. What time is it right now, actually? Oh, <laughs> okay, for a sec there, I thought uh, I missed a showing, but I just realized that I'm waiting for the 610, which is why I'm out here filming a quick video before I go in, which is like eight minutes in, but... Okay, quick thoughts before I purchase my take and go in to watch Frozen Empire. So, yeah, I have basically waited three years just for this, thanks to the post credit scenes of Ghostbusters Afterlife. And just, uh, yeah, I was excited that, oh, we're getting another Ghostbusters movie, and just, no, the trailers, uh, they've been intriguing, and just, yeah, I'm intrigued to see how they pull this off, as I see a little bit of potential here and there, but, uh, yeah, hopefully I have a good time, which, yeah, I shouldn't have to worry too much, because the, <laughs> the director of Monster House is directing this movie, he's the director of this movie, or she, I don't know, I probably should double check if the director is a female or a male, but still, though. Yeah, hopefully Patricia is aware of this. Apparently, they should be able to see it today, since uh, she doesn't have to go to work as they're on spring break. I did text my brother to let her know since it's out, since she is a Ghostbusters fan, and we did saw the third movie when she came home from uh, Korea, I think. If you don't remember my movie vlog for Afterlife, well, we waited, we waited a few days until she arrived home just so we could see Afterlife. Because she's a major Ghostbusters fan. And I think we waited like until Sunday because the movie came out on Friday. I don't know. I have to, I have to rewatch that movie vlog. It's been like a while, but no, I'm hoping she's aware of that it's out now since she's a Ghostbusters fan. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope they make a fifth movie so I can try it again on wearing a Ghostbusters costume. And I did thought I wanted to wear it for Halloween, but then I realized I already have a plan on what costume I'm going to wear for this year. And that's the freaking Joker. Unfortunately, next year's Halloween costume is canceled because I was going to dress up as the Batman for the Batman Part 2, and unfortunately, that got delayed to a whole year in 2026. <laughs> so I'm about to figure out who am I dressing up for October 2025, but that's about a year away, so I got time. I mean, I had it all planned out because I'd be dressing up as Joker, then Batman a year later, but oh well, that's unfortunate. But, anyways, so. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely excited to check out Frozen Empire. Now, I'm a bit bummed out I don't have a Ghostbusters costume, but there's always next time. If they will make another movie, I hope they make another movie. And I think I heard 
about this movie having two post credit scenes, so we shall see. We shall see, but I should probably get my ticket right now and head into the theater, so yeah, just wanted to film this before going in. This is like my before reaction, and uh, yeah, I don't know how I wanted this movie vlog to go because it didn't go the way I pictured it because, again, I wanted to wear a Ghostbusters costume. This is just what I'm wearing, <laughs> but just, um, yeah, I'm now going to go purchase my ticket, so uh, yeah, let's head into the theater. I should probably get the ghost trap. I should definitely get the ghost trap. I'll have to chat with my mom about that. You know what? If, I may have to try to see this again tomorrow with my siblings. I don't know. I want the, I want the ghost. I want the popcorn bucket. God dang it. I could try to get the tinfoil, but it's probably best just to get the freaking ghost trap. Like, that thing looks cool. I just, I'll have to chat with my mom about that. But anyways, we're now, I'm now heading into the auditorium 8. So... Just got my ticket. I'm now going in, so yeah. Uh, damn, I, I forgot the phrase of like uh, famous last words or something like that. But yeah, I'm now entering Frozen Empire. So yeah, I'll see you all on the flip side. Peace. Ladies and gents, I just gotta have seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Well, that's not the same poster that the theater where I was at was over there. But I'm over here because the cool, it's a cool looking poster. But back to just my afterthoughts. As I just got out of seeing the movie and just, I just sat around charging my phone mainly, but had some time to process and just, um, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. Sure, my opinion could possibly change after upon rewatch, but I honestly would like to see this again. Like, well, one, just one more time in theaters, because like I have like this limit thing when it comes to watching movies. There are some I'll watch just only once in theaters, and then there's some where I'll try to watch it again, but then I'll be it. But then three times, like okay, that means I really enjoyed this movie. But the record I have for the most movie I've seen. The most amount of times in theaters would be Avatar The Way of Water, as far as I recall. As I've seen that four times in theaters. And I, I think two was in IMAX, or just one in IMAX, and then two was in standard. And then, uh, I forgot when was my third time seeing it, but I know I um, saw it four times. The fourth time was for Screen X, which happens to be this theater room. This is actually Screen X right here, but still, though. No, um, no, I had a busting good time with this movie. Okay, that sounded weird the way I said it, but... No, overall, I really had a good time with Ghostbusters Chosen and Empire. And yeah, I, I was right what I said earlier. I had nothing to worry about since the director of this movie, directed Monster House. I enjoyed the out of that movie as it happens to be one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, I, I just enjoyed it. Uh, I just enjoyed this movie and there's a lot of pros I want to get into. Now, I don't know what are the cons I have. Because my rating, um, it's not the 10 out of 10. It's not a perfect movie. There's definitely so much I want to talk about in my movie review, which I'm definitely dumping spoilers there, but I might as well give my spoiler free. This time, I'm going to actually not talk spoilers in a movie vlog, because most of my movie vlogs, I just dump spoilers, and then I do spoiler free in, sp in movie reviews, and then I do a spoiler review. That's not, I don't know, but for once, I'm going to do, the, I'm just going to not talk spoilers in here and save it all for um, my movie review, which will be Ghostbusters 1 to 4, but no, I'll, this will be the one time I do it, unless I just do this every every single movie vlog. But I highly doubt that, because the next movie vlog, which will be uh, Godzilla x Kong, I'm definitely going to be talking spoilers, but for right now, for this movie vlog, I'm actually going to not talk spoilers, as I'd like to save it all for my movie review, but no, I just I had a, so much fun watching this movie. And I may have some hot takes. I don't know who has everyone voted for best Ghostbusters villain, but like the villain for this movie. My God, was he or... She? No, I think it was a he. The villain for this movie was a total menace. Now, I get what everyone is saying that it takes time for him. Like, they reveal him at the end, but then, like, it all cuts too quick or something. I get what they're saying, and yeah, I kind of wanted to see a lot more of him, but honestly, though, this dude was menacing. 
and they forgive the noise happening over there, but no, this villain was straight up menacing. Me personally, personal opinion, this may be the best Ghostbusters villain I've seen on screen. I, I don't know, there's just something menacing about Grath. I, I forgot his, how, his, how his name is pronounced, but no, this dude is a straight up menace. He's got like a presence as they're teasing him, they're definitely teasing him of him coming out of like this orb thing, but yeah, I, I can see why everyone's talking about when like it's all that rest in the third act. I, now that could be where the cons are at for me, but it's not, the third act's not entirely bad. I, I enjoyed it. I, I did, I definitely enjoyed the third act of the movie. I guess let's just say I expected the entire movie to be taking place with the whole city in frozen Empire New York State. But as I rewatch Ghostbusters movies, there's ghosts just invade New York City for mainly just around the final battle, not throughout the entire day. And I was telling myself, okay, so it's probably not gonna be frozen until like the very end. And, yeah, I was kinda right about that. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. It is loud in there. I probably should have brought my mic. But still, overall, I, I did enjoy the third. I could I can maybe see some content there. And yes, this movie is packed with tons of characters, but honestly, I, I don't mind it. Think of it as like an Avengers movie, because that the Avengers movie, which will be Infinity War and Endgame, they those have tons of superhero characters. Now they're handled well in here. I can see how everyone is complaining about like they're not handling everyone well as there's just too many characters in one short movie, which isn't short, it's about an hour and 55 minutes. But no, the cons I have for this movie will probably be around like the third act, but overall just I had a really good time with this movie. But one of the best parts about this movie was them expanding the lore of Ghostbusters. Like, no, there's just so much world building, lore, exploring, like, I need more Ghostbusters movies. Like, I want to see them explore more into this Ghostbusters universe, so give me number five or six. Like, Give me a crap load of Ghostbuster movies. Cause Bustin makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was cringe there. Apologies. Hopefully you heard what I had said. Cause like I'm next to a movie theater room that's possibly playing. Um, 9:15. What time is it now? Oh, it's almost. That's almost 9:15. But so hopefully you got what I said there. Uh, if not, then I'll have to try to my best to put subtitles on here. But no. Yeah, I really did enjoy this movie. Um, I had a blast with it. And my rating for it is gonna be a 9 out of 10 now. I do have an official ranking list for all Ghostbusters movies, including the 2016 one. But I'm gonna save that for my, uh, review so you'll know what it is. But McKenna Grace has done it again. Like, she stole the show in the last movie, and, no, she just stole it again. She's a fantastic actress. Like, she was just the star of this movie yet again. Like, no, I really enjoyed uh, the storyline they had going on. Now, I will say this. While we definitely expanded on the lore and learned a lot more about this universe, they definitely did some things different here now that I was not expected. Now, I'm not complaining, but I feel like there's this one specific thing that people are going to be absolute a-holes about. And I'll be honest, I I was kind of down for it, but it didn't really happen. But I'll reveal what it was, but no, there was some stuff that did here that, oh, Okay, that, that's unexpected, but no, I really had a good time with this movie, and just, um, yeah, McKenna Grace has done it again, as she did in the last movie, and yeah, give me Ghostbusters 5! Wait, my overall rating is gonna be a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I have nothing to worry about, as I mentioned earlier, but uh, definitely stay tuned for my spoiler review, which, again, it's gonna be combined into, like, I'm just gonna be talking four movies into one, that's crazy, I don't think I've ever done that as far as I know, I've only done double movie reviews, or triple movie reviews. I'm about to make my first quadruple movie review. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this movie vlog. Didn't go the way I wanted it to go as I wanted to dress up as a Ghostbuster for this movie. Oh well, uh, I guess uh, there's always next time if they do make a Ghostbusters movie. I hope they make another one because I am a big fan of Ghostbusters. But uh, yeah, Patricia, if you're seeing this, yeah, you're definitely gonna enjoy this movie. But anyways, please let me know in those comments below if you've seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire in theaters. Definitely bring your family along for this. Everyone will have a good time watching this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in my movie review for Ghostbusters 1 to 4, which I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. As right now, I'm gonna try to end my Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice uh, trailer reaction while I'm charging my phone, of course. But yeah, I'm gonna try to edit some videos, but I'm gonna, you'll most likely see this movie vlog tomorrow. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this movie vlog. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.
this out. Okay, I probably should have just gone onto the other side of the theater because it is like a lot quiet over here. But also, uh, the reason I'm even recording this quick clip right now, um, I know this costed me about like 24 bucks, but I had to. It was worth it. This is not enough to go see Godzilla X Kong next week for IMAX. Thank you, Regal Unlimited. This this thing was just 10% off. I could have gotten that tin foil with the uh, cup and all that, but I had to get this.